Rudy Giuliani has been caught on tape admitting that you know, they really don't have any proof to back up his election fraud claims. Take a look. We ask you as much evidence as you can tell us about these lawsuits, whatever you can tell us in terms of sure. evidence would be really helpful. Okay, great. I can tell you exactly what we have. Perfect. And um, what about this software, this Dominion software? Uh, that's Which that's a little harder troubling. to tell you right. It's being it's anal, being analyzed right now. I mean, there are a couple okay. of races that have been reversed because uh, the Democrat was triple counted two, two already in Michigan. Now, Absolutely. whether that applies for the whole state or not, I, I can't tell you yet. This Dominion software, does Nancy Pelosi have an interest in it? I've read that. I can't prove that yet. Okay. Oops. I mean, I've read all these things, and I have all this, these, these thoughts, and these ideas. But I don't really, I don't really have, I don't have anything. You know, uh, evidence. <laughs> or uh, better yet, just forget about the evidence. I don't, I don't have evidence. I don't have anything. So uh, now, where do we get these tapes? Uh, well. That's the more interesting part of the story, because it's not a surprise that Rudy Giuliani is a gigantic liar uh, who occasionally drips things out of his uh, forehead or face or whatever. Uh, pores, perhaps. Don't know. Well, and there's also uh, drips or releases of, of things in other places uh, that we've seen, but, you know, uh, or heard about, <clears throat> like in court. Uh, but no, that's not the most interesting part of the story. It's actually where these videos came from and who specifically we had talked about before uh, former Fox News producer Abby Grossberg. So uh, Abby Grossberg had actually supplied these tapes because she had recorded them mm. in an amended legal complaint by Grossberg earlier this week in her suit against Fox News for harassment and discrimination, uh, where she has uh, accused the network's lawyers of coercing her to falsify testimony. Uh, or I'm sorry, falsely testify in the Dominion defamation case. She brought those uh, receipts. Awesome. She actually recorded these conversations back in November, December of 2020 during her time as the senior booking producer of Fox host Maria Bartiromo, who had helped uh, promote some of the voting machine conspiracy theories uh, that I will never get tired of telling you where Bartiromo got these conspiracy theories. Again, uh, being told by Sidney Powell. Villains in Venezuela. But Sidney Powell had received this so-called information from uh, a cactus farmer. Or, uh, no, I'm sorry, a cactus artist. I keep calling her a farmer uh, who believes that she had got this information through... A psychic vision. She also claimed that uh, the wind told her. It speaks to her. Wind. Wind. Mm, wind. Wind. Oh, and yes, that, that she is also was uh, spiritually decapitated. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm. I'm not entirely sure what else to say other than stupid. Yeah. Uh, so, um, the whole thing, clown show. This is what happens, by the way, when your entire party and even their news, so-called news apparatus, embraces nonsense conspiracy theorist. Yeah, internally decapitated cactus artist. You're correct. Who, oh, may or may not be a ghost. Yeah. No, you're all correct. There's just so much insanity that had come from this. And and yet, Sidney Powell, the Kraken lawyer, she's like, mm, seems legit. We're going to roll with this. Mm. Mm, yes. The smartest people, the greatest people, the best people. Let me tell you what. Um, but again... There's more. While 
what's in these tapes is important. It's also stuff that we already knew. Um, it helps Grossberg's claims. Okay, because you're not going to record your employer unless you feel like you're being, you know, intimidated and you're planning to come out later. So that, again, helps her. I was a bit skeptical uh, of some of Grossberg's claims, uh, but this appears to be some vindication. Uh, now, this also harms Fox News for other reasons than just Giuliani, of course, admitting and and along with, you know, Bartiromo thinking that this is, well, you know, it's, it's kind of BS because we don't have any evidence. We don't have any proof to prove it. Uh, well, during a pretrial hearing on Wednesday, the judge in the Dominion case had reprimanded Fox News for withholding these tapes in discovery. Now, again, Grossberg had them. And at the time, she had been represented by a Fox News appointed lawyer. She then broke from that, came out with these allegations, and then was promptly fired by Fox News. And then, of course, she took the tapes with her. <laughs> so besides sanctioning the network, the judge also said that he would likely uh, appoint a special master now to investigate the matter and whether Fox made untrue or negligent claims about Rupert Murdoch's role at the network as well. Mm. Now, there's one more tape, by the way, that I want to show you. She didn't just make one tape. There's another tape. Uh, and this is, again, Bartiromo speaking with a Trump campaign official. Several weeks after speaking with Giuliani, you're going to love this conversation. Are any of the machines, I know it was on War Room the other day with Steve Bannon. Have any of the machines been looked at? He had said that one was looked at in Georgia. Uh, I'd have to check on that in terms of Georgia. I know during the audit they did check on those machines. Um, they're really, you know, the, the, if we just go off the record for one sec here. Yeah, it should, of course. Um, I, I, want, I don't want us to say it if it's not. That's why we're yeah, checking. I would, I would, I would, I think they have looked at the machines. Um, when, the, when the Secretary of State did its audit, uh, there, there was a lot, of, I think, a fair bit of looking at the machines. Um, you know, the audit came in pretty darn close to what the machine count was with the receipts. So, you know, I don't know the outcome of those, but our understanding, again, this is from the Secretary of State's office, was that there weren't any physical issues with machines on those inspections. Oops. Hmm. Fun. That's really fun. Oh, okay. So, look. Another admission that, hey, oh, yeah, we so we looked at the machines and, you know, we uh, didn't find anything wrong with them. Again, December 5th, 2020, before January 6th, which means they knew and that's evidence right there that they knew that they were putting out false and defamatory statements about Dominion voting machines and fueling what would eventually become January 6th. So now there are these tapes which might not be in, uh, admissible in court because we're not talking about January 6th. The focus is not January 6th. But the fact that these tapes exist, I mean, that's really incredibly damning towards Fox News' case. They knew, they all knew absolutely 100% that what they were saying was absolute BS and total garbage, untrue. They knew it. There are many text messages between hosts and executives admitting it. And yet still, they went on and continued to defame this company, this voting machine company, in order to placate their audience and to make money. They were scared of a competitor, scared of Newsmax poaching their viewership because Newsmax was more than willing to continue lying unabashedly, which is why they're also being sued. Um, they were afraid of the competition and afraid of losing their audience because they had built their entire network on lies. That's the fact. That's the truth. 
Facts don't care about your feelings, Fox News.